Um, I'm, I'm going to start with the, the main event. So Charles Oliveira, like to, to kick things off yesterday, the weigh-ins, they, they say that Charles went to bed Thursday night at 155 pounds. He wakes up, he I, apparently like one or two scales, he's 155 pounds, and then he gets on the official scale, he's 155 and a half. They gave him an hour to cut more weight, he tries to cut weight for another hour, and then still doesn't get the weight off. So basically they strip the belt from him, and there's a little bit of controversy to it. I've, I've heard a few different people think that, you know, something funny was going on with, with the scales in Arizona. Um, I, I guess Arizona's like law for, for fights like this, the, the weigh-in is supposed to be later in the day, and uh, some people are saying like the, the scales weren't recalibrated, so a lot of fighters ended up being over their normal weight. Um, but the, the thing is, is like, the, the championship fights are usually the only ones that matter if you're exactly on weight because any other fight you have like the pound allowance so a lot of times people like if you're not fighting at a championship fight you might weigh in at 155 and a half or 156 so for for that like yeah I, I think because I think there was like 20 something that 22 or 24 something like that other fighters that didn't like make the exact championship weight technically uh, but I don't think that necessarily means like something was off with the scales. Um, but a lot of people think that there was something going on with with the scales that was was causing that. Because for Oliveira not to lose any weight from in that whole hour when he stepped back onto the scales, that was kind of crazy. And like they they had thought he weighed in at that weight. Um, but nonetheless, like the UFC just made the decision right away. And I, I mean, this is like the first time this has ever happened for a champion. Um, they basically take the belt away from him. They made this fight with Justin Gaethje. The winner, if it was Gaethje, Gaethje would take home the belt. If it's Oliveira, he didn't get to take home the belt. Um, which is, it's it's kind of bittersweet because it's like he just had a phenomenal win. And Oliveira is clearly the champion of the world. He's clearly the best fighter at 155 at this point. Um, so not not to be able to get your take take your belt home was kind of disappointing. But... You know, it's also part of the sport. There's there's the other side to it, you know, that like, you know, this is your contractual weight, you know, like there, there's not a lot of sympathy for other fighters when they don't make weight. I think the, the main reason that there's a little bit more for Charles is because of the way that some of like the rumors going on with Arizona were happening. Um, but but anyways, this this fight was less than a round, but it was just fireworks the entire time. Like literally to start things off, it looks like like Charles landed the big shot, kind of hurt Justin, and then Justin just got into the throwing everything in his entire like like just these punches he was just throwing all of his body weight into. I mean, there was a time where he literally fell because he threw such a hard punch that missed, and he landed a couple big big shots. He dropped Charles Oliveira, and then Charles was kind of inviting him to come down to the ground. But Charles is just like, he's he's so fun to watch. He just gets up and marches forward and keeps going every, every single fight, no matter what. Like, he, he can be clipped and hurt and everything. This fight, he was bleeding, and he just kept pushing forward. And then he dropped Justin later in the, later in the first round and then just jumped on his back. And for, like, I don't know, this, it was a short period of time, like 20, 30 seconds. He, he pulled off, like, a, attempted two or three submissions and ended up getting a finish. Justin choking Justin Gaethje out and so I, I mean this is like he's he's in my opinion one of the funnest fighters because every fight he's going to finish he's constantly pushing forward and he's like he's he's in the fight and he can win at any moment but it's also there's a part of that that's he could also lose at any moment because he's so susceptible to getting dropped like he literally has gotten he got dropped by Chandler by Poirier by Gaethje and every single time he gets back up and you know the the thing that's different is his his ground game. He's so dangerous on the ground, off his back. You know anywhere when it comes to the ground that when a fighter drops him, they're not usually jumping on top trying to finish him because they know like the danger that they'd be in. And he's dangerous at any moment, even after he's been like hurt and everything. And I I think at this point he's probably dispelled the whole Charles Oliveira is a, a quitter things that like. The last three opponents have said all before they hurt him and then he finished all three of them 
Um, so he's he's just an amazing fighter at this point. They The next fight has to be Islam Makachev. I think that fight is going to be a ton of fun because when, when we think like Khabib versus Tony Ferguson, this was... This is kind of like the the newer version of that, in my opinion. I think Charles might even be better than that version of Tony, and Islam is you know he's he's on the come up as well, trying to you know walk be like follow behind what Khabib has laid out. So, I I think that's going to be a crazy fight. That's probably the fight they book next. I know Dana had talked about Islam having to rebook the fight with Benil Dariush, and unless Oliveira does something crazy like fighting McGregor or something like that then I think that's the next logical step and I think that's the funnest matchup you can make and the thing that's going to be interesting is Islam doesn't usually like hurt people too much on the feet like he certainly has better stand up than Khabib did uh, but I think Charles has, is going to be better in that aspect where some of his last opponents he he was you know right right there but you would most people would say like Justin's the better straight straight stand up fighter, and same thing with with Dustin Poirier. Um, so I I think that's a super interesting fight that they they should make next. Um, Charles Oliveira's the champ. He's he says um, the champ has a name, and his name is Charles Oliveira. That's like all he's been echoing ever since like losing weight um, or missing weight. So I he's he's a ton of fun to watch. I can't wait to see what's going on next. Uh, what fight they make next for him.